Καλησπέρα, καλησπέρα, καλώ ήρθατε στου Game Hoddings. Καλώ ήρθατε στο χειμώνα μα κανάλι. Εγώ είμαι το Hoddings Channel. Μάνε, Μισπάκο. Uh, for all of you that uh, are watching the channel, you should know by now that I'm a big and huge fan of uh, Lovecraft. I have a lot of books of him. Of, of him. I have read a lot of books because I love books, especially horror books. And uh, Lovecraft, uh, I have a thing about Lovecraft. How do you call Lovecraft? Μυθολογία, Lovecraft, uh, Lovecraft World. Uh, the developers gave us a, a, key, a Steam key about a, a Lovecraftian game. It's called The In Smooth Case. We want to thank, the, to thank them very much for giving us the opportunity to play their game. Uh, so, with no further delay, let's just go and fucking play The In Smooth Case and uh, see what the game is all about. The Innsmouth case. New game. Loading, okay. Boston MA, your office. Poor world. We are fans of the strange world of Innsmouth, but we recognize the, prob the, prob the problematic beliefs of H.P. Lovecraft. This game has been produced by a group of people who believe in inclusion and equality. Robot Pumpkin Games and Assemble the Terminal. Start! Let's go! Let's see. Your progress in the story will be saved at the end of each chapter. There are 35 chapters! 35 chapters?! What the fuck?! At the end of a chapter, the screen fades to black and the green save icon appears on the bottom right of the screen, as you can see right here. We recommend you always end the game after such a save point to make sure none of your progress is lost. Okay. 35 chapters. Are you fucking kidding me? Boss of the last race of suns of suns and filtered through uh, th uh, through the, uh, the blood of your empty office. The pathetic stretch of whiskey, I like whiskey, cold cigarettes, I don't smoke, and uh, can't uh, ravioli fills the air. The screeching types and constant beeping of car horns out there on the street tell you that it's gone 8 pm. People are on their, on their way home, you should join them, okay? You decide to stay. Ah, it's it's like a audiobook. It's like a book. You decide to. Your your day was long and frustrating. You are running out of ideas on how to handle the calls of people who want money from you. Uh, that's easy. Don't don't uh, hang up. <laughs> don't uh, take the phone. Uh, don't answer the phone. A cold shiver runs down your spine as you flick through a pile of unpaid bills. On the top of the pile is a reminder from your landlady. You are two months behind on the rent. Okay. Been there, done that. The next one is a three-figure invoice from a games company for in April uh, for an app purchase. For an April purchase. Okay. You try to claim to claim them as business expenses in your last investigation, but somehow your client refused to pay. Aha! Then there is the second reminder from your internet provider threatening you to cut off your connection. My internet connection! You might take legal action, because without the internet you can't work or live. You really need more in app purchases, your lawyer, a cigarette, a little fresh air. You remember, during a particularly boring case you started paying Playing that game with a colorful candy. You made it to level 60, 671, but now without, without the help of extra bombs, for which you paid a lot of money. You can't remember why you bought them, but it seems damn important at the time, okay? It seemed important at the time, okay. You breathe a deep sigh. A deep sigh. It may not have been a successful day, but at least it's over. You are looking forward for, to a classic Friday night, watching old mystery series at home. In switch pants and getting it. Okay, okay, okay. Since the early afternoon, you have been staring at the four bottle, bottle of liquor at the other end of the room. Up until now, a vacuum, a vacuum, a vacuum, a vacuum, a vacuum. Yeah. Sense of professionalism, play professional, I'm a catalava. Has kept you from drinking yourself into oblivion. Now, nothing stands in the way. Okay. Suddenly, you hear someone on the door. Who is it? Who is it? The door slowly cracks open with a timed creak. Okay, the unknown guest passes. Pauses. Then it's then in a breathy and melodic tone, you hear a woman 
Okay. Hello. You, your research cramp. You suddenly realize that you haven't cleaned your office at all this year. Uh, okay, so my office is messy. Quickly try to clean up. Invite her in. Uh, quickly try to clean up. Wait a minute. Wait. You shout in a pitch that is at least two octaves. Uh, octaves. Octaves. Okay. Higher than intended. Uh, there's no time to pick up the crumbled uh, pieces of paper on the floor. You gaze across the total mess on your desk. A weird, undefinable crust has formed on the wood. You've never noticed that before. You try to hide the to hide what is the pizza. That's it. They get stuck immediately. Nice. Ah, uh, okay. This is the lady. Mm. Okay, hello. By the light of the desk lamp, you now see more than a silhouette. A breathtaking woman lights up your office. Okay. A breathtaking this is a breathtaking woman. If you say so. No doubt older than 40, maybe even 50, hard to say. Clad in in a children. Okay. Clad in black. Clad in black in skin tight dress. Culminating in a decol decolet decolete as with a collet decolate decolate that seems to defy the laws of gravity. Okay. A smoky eye shadow as dark as LG washed a sore. Blandy, as dark as algae, uh, algae, algae, algae. A smoky eye shadow, as dark as algae, was the sore. Algae, as algae, was the sore. Okay. Blandy, coiffed, wavy hair under a dark beret. Oh, okay, the hat. The hat, you need that, she, that she wears. The faint, the faint light of the setting, sun catches in the struts of her hair, and you wonder how many heads this woman. Must have 10 during her prime. Aha, uh -huh. okay. She's completely different from your usual customers. Nervous buggers with sweet stents under their armpits, convinced their wives have something going with the mailman. Every move she makes is calculated grace. Okay, smooth as a needle. She walks towards, towards you and sits down on the corner of your desk. Determined, she walks towards you. Okay. Which is a little bolt, uh, which makes you blush. Which so, uh, makes you blush. Which makes you blush. Never before has a visitor packed the, the rear so skillful, so skillfully on the corner of the of, his, of this desk. You hope that the cigarette butt. You hope that the cigarette butt, the stranger, is just I don't want to leave any difficult stains. The dress looks expensive. Okay. When she starts talking, her voice is smoky and full of promise. My name is Dahlia Mars. I'm looking for a private investigator. You found one. I was told you are one of the best. <laughs> Le profession. Of course I'm the best. She extends her hand. Kiss her hand. You've come to the right place lately. You've done. You've come. Okay. You sit back in your chair and fold your hands over your stomach. Like this. You mean. Okay. The woman seems a little irritated that her provocative, prov provocative uh, behavior seems to have had no effect on you. Of course it has no effect on me. This is business. I'm a professional investigator. She moves from the edge of the desk and sits down on the chair opposite, opposite you. Ah, uh, <coughs> yes, I see clears her throat. As she continues to speak, the smoky, the smoky seductiveness creeps back into her voice. Nice. My name is Dahlia. I need help. I ask for more details, of course. It's about my daughter Dapitha. She has disappeared. You are pulling out paper and pencil. Okay, to take notes. This is gonna be a walk in the park. A walk in the kidnapped kids park. Well, when did you last see her and where? The woman puts on a fake smile. We live in Innsmouth. For those of you that have read uh, Lovecraft uh, books, Innsmouth is a very well-known area in the uh, Lovecraftian uh, mythology world universe it's a small part town north of arkham arkham is another one uh, you frown this is a bit vague what was uh, what was your child doing when you last saw her what hobbies does he have oh you know kid stuff they just run around and uh, play with their yo 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 ah, yo yo you know yo yo that sort of thing dahlia nervously comes her hands through her hair What does your daughter look like? She's only eight, and the sweetest and the sweetest girl you can imagine. Uh, she's been missing without a trace since last week. 
None of her schoolmates have seen her and no one knows where she might have gone. She hands you a photo. Look, this is my little man manskin. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> well, every mother uh, thinks that her child is the most, uh, the best, the most beautiful child uh, in the world. Good heavens. Is this supposed to be a joke? Is that really the face of a child or a soapy photo edit? Are you being filmed as part of the reality TV show? A bit of stomach ache, uh, acid and the last bite of lunch slowly but surely, surely make their way up into the back of your mouth. Okay. Uh, you throw up into the... No, okay, no. Swallow it. <laughs> With narrow eyes, you, you swallow the, the, the bile and involuntarily pull a face. Dahlia continues to look at you hopefully. She obviously didn't notice you a little mis mishap. That was close and it could have been unpleasant. I'm so desperate her eyes look with your eyes. You, with yours. Her eyes look lock with yours. Don't you think there's something strange about your child? Ask more questions about the case. Uh, okay, no. Dahlia nervously comes her hands through her hair. Does your daughter have any friends? What about her father? What about Tapitha, Tapitha's father? Are you separated? Often children reappear with family members. Del Dahlia smile, smile sadly. My little one can't swim well enough for that yet. Your pen remains on the, on the same spot on the notepad. What was this, that supposed to mean? Dahlia is about to continue. Let her talk. Dahlia turns her gaze away from you and looks dreamily, logically out of the window. Her father was a fisherman. Like most in the village, a few years ago he went out to sea but never returned. His boat was washed ashore weeks later. His colleges told me that he had finally followed the call of the waves. What? Call of the waves? You keep quiet for a moment. Deceased family members are always a sensitive subject. My sincerest condolences. He seems calm. Oh, somehow I always knew that moment would come. I think my husband is a b in a better place now. And at some point, I'll join him. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you take a closer look at Dahlia's outfit. Judging by her behavior and clothes, you never would have ta taken her to be a fisherman wife. Yes, because she looks like from a, for a, from a wealthy, f wealthy family. Eh? She looks like her clothes are expensive. You inquire about more details about the case Dahlia's financial situation. Forgive me for asking, but what do you do for a living? Dahlia so tenses. I work in the Innismuth Tourism Department. That's how they call it that way these days. <laughs> Tourist Department. Uh, why, do you, why do you ask? Uh, for a widow, single nun, you are surprisingly well dressed. You don't seem like someone who is handing out holiday. Okay. For a fisherman widow, okay. Either, either the tourism industry is more lucrative than I thought, or your husband was quite well insured. You take a theatrical break, or... Is there another explanation? Dahlia smiles uncertainly. My family is wealthy. Uh, figure, that figures. Old money and some kind of local nobility. Uh, I don't understand what the question has to do with my missing daughter. I am the PI. I'm going to be the judge of that. You are going to ask, uh, you are going to ask my questions. There is a competitive client in her eyes. Dirty money. Okay, ask more questions about... Uh, will be connected to your daughter's... Uh, okay, maybe. It's not of my business where you get your money from, but if the, if the source is rather unorthodox, it will be related to your daughter's disappearance. You peer over your desk to take her in a little uh, in a little better. You peer over your desk to take her in a little better. Okay, your face is serious, is serious and impenetrable, impenetrable. But inside your heart, your head, your inner uh, your inner hardly bogart and net feels incredibly cool. Dahlia's smile remains unchanged, but once of her eyelids, he started twitching. Nervous, nervousness, perhaps? Or do your question uh, make her angry? Mm, okay. Don't care. No, I have nothing to do with an illegal business. You lean back. Dahlia nervously comes her hands through her hair. Does your daughter have any friends? Classmates, sport club members, anything like that. Dahlia silently, silently shakes her head. Very strange, you are about to ask if the girl at least has imaginary friends, but you hold back. <laughs> uh, I have no further questions. I have no further questions. You're marble no more to yourself than to her. Dahlia stretches her neck 
impregnably, impregnably, no doubt she would like, she would like to take a look at your notebook. Your pen honors of your okay, missing daughter, dodgy lady. This, that's it. That's it. You've worked with less. Are you going to take this case or not? Uh, accept the case. You not. A missing person case, nothing unusual. The conventional little girl runs away from home after reading her first romance novel. Usually the height, okay, 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 should be okay. Before you can say anything, she drops a photo of the child and the roll of bills on your desk for your expenses. Okay, I could use the money. Uh, you not slowly trying not to, to drool down the front of your uh, to front of your shirt. You haven't seen this much money in ages. You don't have much time to prepare a quick tell to reveal that only one bus goes to Rini Smooth and only once a day. A pattern emerges in your research. The few news items, the few news items related to this little coastal town are all about missing persons. In addition. You find some rather old-fashioned articles that praise the coastal town as a secret holiday destination. The best fish, untouched beach, promenade, authentic fishing people are the are the recurring passwords. Okay, Dahlia has given you the address at which you are supposed to drop off her daughter as soon as you find her. She also wrote down her phone number on the child's photo. You take another look at the picture before you pack your things. Look at the girl. The next morning you travel by bus. Ah, okay, that was the end of chapter one. Okay, because it's saved our progress. The journey begins at the business at the busy bus station. There is supposed to be a bus line that departs from here to here to Ismo. Buses you think buses you think to yourself are not only an environmentally friendly means of transportation, but they are also easy on your wallet. Sadly, the departure boards aren't of much help. New York, Main, Rhode Island, not race of Innsmouth as a destination. You wander around for a while until you notice a cleaner eating a sandwich. I'm hungry. Now you know that you mentioned the sandwich. On the side of one of the vending of the vending machines. You look around, talk to the cleaner. Continue searching or okay. So uh, this is chapter one. This is chapter one. We're gonna leave it here. Because as it says, as it said the uh, uh, at the end of each chapter, uh, there's a, a, a not a checkpoint, and we're gonna take it chapter by chapter. We're gonna make a series out of it, uh, I guess. It's uh, like a not your book. It's like a not a not your book uh, uh, adventure. Okay, we're gonna play it because I like uh, I like something different that uh, you have uh, used uh, you, that you have uh, used to uh, to play. You have used to see us play. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play it. This is. The first video, we're gonna thank the developers again for uh, giving us a steam play about this uh, about this game. Subscribe, like, and share. And until our next video, have a nice Monday night. I uh, bye bye.